Hey y'all, it's Brandy. I'm back with another video. Thank you for all of you who have subscribed to my channel already. If you haven't, go ahead and subscribe now. You can like this video, drop me a one in the comment to say hello. And of course, you can always ask me questions in the comments and I'll get back to you. Um, I do have a free VIP school group, so you can join that. The link for it will be in the description. And all we talk about there is everything I talk about on the channel. And it's a place for you to network and communicate with people who are trying to build in the same way that you are. All right. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Brandy. I have a four-year-old daughter. I'm a content creator, an Amazon seller, six-figure Amazon seller. Um, and I love everything health and wellness. So like I said... That is all the things I talk about also on the channel. I guess I didn't say that before, but I'm saying it now. Um, anyways, so today I wanted to talk about how do I balance being a mom and an Amazon seller. Um, Amazon has been one of the easiest businesses for me to do as being a mom because I can do this business at any time of the day. Um, you can source for products any time of the day. You can package your products any time of the day. The only thing you can do is mail your products any time of the day. Um, but other than that, you can do pretty much everything. Well, you actually can drop stuff off at the post office if you're, I guess, not out in the real country. Because like my post office, they have the kiosk and I can just go scan in my stuff. And that's one thing that's important too. So if you do FBM, you always want to get that scan in to have proof that the post office got it. Um, but anyways, back to balancing being a mom and doing Amazon. So a lot of times my mornings are not spent doing Amazon. They're spent doing stuff with my daughter. So we get breakfast, I lay in the bed and cuddle with her and we might read some books. I just see what she's trying to do. She's always got some bright ideas. And then like once I've spent that quality one-on-one -on -one time with her earlier in the day, then I can usually sneak off for about an hour or so and do something that I need to do and have her in her schoolroom slash playroom and set her up with something to do in there while I'm working on what I'm working on. And I can hear what's going on in there. So I'm not too worried about her playing in there or getting into something that she shouldn't get into because there's only stuff in there for her because I can hear she comes out the room I can hear she's doing something sketch um so yeah it allows me to get some stuff done but then it also allows her to get some independent play and I can always set her up like with the bible story because I she watches a lot of bible stories on the tv in there I haven't so much put her on any learning things sorry there's like a hair that's bothering me put her on any learning things like I'm looking for some new YouTube channels because she's really interested in reading right now she's already started reading um but before I used to have her listening to the alphabet sounds of the letters um numbers all those basic things shapes whatever but that's kind of like beyond her now like that's boring so I got to find some new YouTubes that help challenge her and help teach her things. Um, I'm okay with her watching Bible stories whenever because it's just penetrating that in her. But because, like I said, I spend that quality time with her first thing in the morning, she's usually okay for about an hour or so to do something independent so I can focus on what I need to focus on for Amazon. Um, she doesn't take naps. She's four, so she doesn't take naps anymore. She's not involved in any kind of daycare. We do go to the gym. The gym has like a kids center there where they do arts and crafts and gymnastics and dance and singing and all these different like fun activities for her. But that and so I can bring her there and I can bring my laptop to the gym and I can work in the lobby while she goes in there and plays also. So I have that option. So I not officially do like a daycare, but it's kind of similar to that and it's flexible. Like I don't have to be there at a certain time. However, you do have to, they close at a certain time of the day. So I have to be ready to get her from that point. Um, So that's one way that I utilize to get more work in 
and then make sure she's doing something productive. But then the other thing that I do is I just take her with me to go sourcing. That's why I think retail arbitrage is kind of a part of my thing is because I can bring her with me. Whereas when I'm sitting here on the computer, just analyzing the data, like I can't be engaged with her because, you know, I have to concentrate. And yeah, so when I go to the store and I'm scanning stuff, she's in the cart. She has other things she can look at. I usually give her a toy or something to play with or a book to read that we found in the store in the cart so she can do that. Or I have her helping me look for certain things that she knows that I already sell. And she'll be like, mommy, I found it. So she feels like a part of it. So yeah, so I can bring her with me to um do that. Now we can't go for hours upon hours. We can maybe go out sourcing for like maybe two or three stores at the most depends on how long I spend in the store but that is also something that has helped me and then anytime she eats I can spend that time working on my computer because I have a desktop and I have a laptop so I can always bring my laptop wherever she is so I can keep an eye on her and then let her do her thing she has a very big imagination she loves playing pretend and stuff like that and I feel like I've kind of helped her cultivate that behavior because I never let her play with shiny, flashy, shiny toys. Like she never played with very stimulating toys. All her toys have been um, more like wooden toys and she had to use her imagination to make them come alive. And so she likes doing that. So that has been helpful that I encouraged her to start playing pretend and not overstimulating her nervous system so she expects that kind of stimulation and the same with like the bible stories that I let her watch I try and let her watch like older style cartoons versus newer ones because the newer ones are like just way more stimulating to the children versus the older ones and so I don't know I think it has less of an effect and I also noticed that when I let her watch stuff on the tv versus the the computer like the ipad or something her attitude is much better and she's less addictive to it so she doesn't get the ipad at all i know y'all are probably like what yeah no ipad for journey she just gets the tv with the um hulu is it hulu no hulu is the thing roku roku that's what i'm talking about so we have the roku tv and i have the apps on there and I play the different stuff. Yeah, so I think just focusing on her first thing in the morning, like I said, or bringing, do, doing the gym thing where I let her go there. I bring my laptop. I can work on sourcing or whatever there. And then when I pack my shipments, I let her help me. She likes sticking stickers on stuff, so I let her do that. Or I'll have her tell her, like, hey, these are, I need two of these. And like make a two pack essentially. So I'll give her instructions and show her how to do it and she'll do that, get her to bring stuff to me. So I just get her involved, just like when we go to the store and source. So I hope these tips were helpful. Let me know things you do with your children to allow you to get your work done. Um, yeah, being a mom and balancing a business, it's definitely not the easiest thing, but it is what it is, and I enjoy having her help me, and her being proud of me is good is good motivation. Like, I remember I made my first sale on Amazon. She was so happy. She's like, yay, mommy, you made your first sale on Amazon. Woohoo! It was so cute. It made me feel extra special. Um, Yeah, so like this video if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments if it was helpful. If you have any other questions, feel free to join my um, free VIP school group. That's not going to be free forever. So go ahead and get in the community. And for those of you who need a mentorship to scale your Amazon business to six figures, join the mentorship, DM me Amazon, and I'll connect you with my mentor. He works by refers referrals only. So yeah, that's the best way I can figure out to get you connected with them. Um, if you need anything from me, just ask. I may or may not be able to accommodate, but we shall see. 
Thank you for watching. And until next time, y'all have a good one. Bye.